Hi Freedom Family, welcome back to another episode of the KYC Nullified. Thank you for all your support and I'm really happy to be in front of you guys making more videos for you. So, today we're going to be discussing a certain topic that's very interesting that you guys would probably want to discuss. I know I would. So Iana, to start things off, please drop my title. Today on The Rule of Thumb, we will be discussing about nudity or sexual content. Okay, let's see what YouTube has to say about this. Sexually explicit content like pornography is not allowed. Videos containing fetish content will be removed or age-restricted depending on the severity of the act in question. In most cases, violent, graphic, or humiliating fetishes are not allowed to be shown on YouTube. You might be asking yourselves now, is there a way that I can use sexual content without violating this rule? Well, let's check it out. A video that contains nudity or sexual content may be allowed if the primary purpose is educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic, and it isn't gratuitously graphic. For example, a documentary of breast cancer would be appropriate, but posting clips out of content from the same documentary might not be. Remember that providing context in the title and description will help us and your viewers determine the primary purpose of the video. You guys are probably wondering, can I age restrict this? Well, yes you can. In cases where videos do not cross the line but still contain sexual content, we may apply an age restriction so that only viewers over a certain age can view the content. Videos featuring individuals in minimal or revealing clothing may also be age restricted if they're intended to be sexually provocative but don't show explicit content. These are the things that YouTube considers when a video should be age restricted. Are you ready? Because there's a lot, so here we go. Whether breasts, buttocks, or genitals, clothed or unclothed, are the focal point of the video. Whether the video setting is sexually suggestive, example given, location generally associated with sexual activities such as a bed. Whether the subject is depicted in a pose that is intended to sexually arouse the viewer. When the language used in a video is vulgar and or lewd. Whether the subject's action in the video suggests a willingness to engage in sexual activity, example given, kissing, provocation, dancing, fondling. If a subject is minimally clothed, whether the clothing would be acceptable in appropriate public context. Example given swimwear versus lingerie. Other factors include the length of time an image appears in the video, fleeting versus prolonged, exposure especially relative to the overall length of the video, the camera angle and focus, the relative clarity of the image in the video, the video thumbnail. Whew. Okay guys, to break it down, YouTube is not a platform that allows sexual content, but there are circumstances that it can be allowed. Videos that contain nudity or dramatized sexual conduct should be age restricted when it is deemed that the context of the video is appropriate for educational, documentary, artistic, or scientific purposes. There are many things that YouTube considers when age restricting certain videos. You can go back to this timestamp to get acquainted with them again. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this topic. Also, let me know in the comment section below on what you think about this rule. Now let's go on ahead with the KYC edition. As we have discussed in the rule of thumb, we will be flashing videos that adheres or violates YouTube's rules and policies. The first channel is Real Matt TV. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing good. Let's take a look at your channel. Your channel is very interesting. You have quite a lot of content here. You have gaming videos, reaction videos, and lots more. Let's take a look at some of your videos. Now, I don't want to In this video, he was talking about nudity on YouTube. He was citing his comments and expressing his opinions about the topic. And also alongside the video is an Overwatch gameplay footage. Although he covered their private parts and put this video as age restricted, he missed a few frames that actually showed the private parts of the ladies. Guys, there's this game. I'm sure you guys are all aware of it. It's been blown up. In okay, in this video, as the title suggests, he's reading comments from an adults-only website. In my opinion, you could have blocked more skin, blocked the logo of the adult-only website, and also the last picture was not appropriate even though you censored the private part. You still clearly know what they were doing. Hey, your commentaries and opinions are good and it says a lot about your channel though there are a few things that you have missed out. Censoring your content with a blurry effect, or in this case, with your avatar, is a good way to block out private parts. But, you have to be really careful in doing so. If you miss parts of your videos that show private areas and put a sensor that still clearly shows the deed, you put your channel in a very bad spot. Putting these videos as age-restricted content is great, but I would still have to rate your channel as at risk. Next up is the Orange Maddie. Hey there, how are you? I hope you're doing great. So let's take a look into your channel. I see that you like playing graphic novels. Great, I also play them all the time. Let's take a look at some of your videos. Hi guys. Well, it's what I've tried. 
Okay, we can see here that you're playing your game and having fun with it. Then suddenly, the game flashed a very particular pose that may present a threat to your channel. Let's take a look at another video. Okay, from the start of the video, the girl is flashing a very particular pose that may very well threaten your channel. Hey, playing video games with adult content is good and fun, but if you flash these kinds of poses in your videos, it can potentially put you in a bad spot with YouTube, and this should be under age-restricted content. All in all, I would say that this channel is okay, but I would still rate this as at risk. Greetings family, I hope you enjoyed that and learned something from this episode and let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about this episode and the show that we're creating. So let us know, comment in the comment section below. Alright, that concludes the episode. My name is Noel and you're watching KYC Noldified. Goodbye. Hi, have you checked out our freedom forums? If not, well you should because you will find me there alongside free channel assets like audios, banners, thumbnails and a lot more. If you want to hang out with me or with our Freedom staff members, visit our Discord page. See you there.